We are joined alongside by Antonio Rogerio Noguera, Little Nog. He fights Jason Brillis coming up this Saturday night at UFC 114, live and only on pay-per-view from the MGM Grand Garden Arena here in Las Vegas. Antonio, thank you very much for your time. Give me your thoughts about your opponent, Jason Brills. Obviously a change from Forrest Griffin. Your thoughts? Yeah, uh, they, they changed the fight in the, the last two weeks, but uh, I've been training like uh, jiu-jitsu, wrestling, box, every skills, but uh, I think when it change the fight, I have to train the plan that they, for the fight because, uh, you know, first give his a good striking, then uh, Jason Brees is a very good wrestling. Then uh, I've been training for the last two weeks, but a lot of wrestling skills to, to try to be stand up. But if he, he goes to the jiu-jitsu jiu -jitsu game, I think my, my game is better than him. Did it disappoint you that Forrest dropped out of the fight? You were the co-main event on the card. Did that disappoint you? Yeah, yeah, I'm very disappointed because uh, I had a chance to be in a common event for the first time. Then, uh, but uh, I, I just want to fight again, and uh, then uh, I think I had a chance to fight. I have to, to hold. Now, for Jason Brills, do you feel that he's taking too much of a step upwards? Do you feel that he's going to sort of fade and get intimidated by the lights of the UFC's famed octagon? Sorry? Do you feel he's going to fade? Do you feel he's going to get nervous? He's fighting a top-level fighter in you. He's never fought anybody of your caliber. No, no, no. I, I, I think he's, uh, he's have a good uh, record. Then uh, he, he came confident. I, I think so. He, he, he's a tough guy. He's very good wrestling. He came confident. But I'm, I, I'm, I'm very, very confident, too. You made your debut inside the octagon pretty easily and looked impressive. Can you tell us how easy it was for you to make the transition into the octagon? Some guys from Pride have some trouble. You, however, did not. Yeah, I've been training in the octagon for uh, uh, almost three years with my brother. Since, since then, then, he came to UFC when he fought for the first time. Then uh, I think I had a chance to, to, to learn about uh, the all those skills uh, with uh, Rodrigo, with Anderson, then all my team, I think they support me a lot. How influential has your brother Brent been in enabling you to have an easy transition to the UFC? Yeah, uh, he, he showed me uh, many things and many skills. I think he's, uh, he's he been supporting me a lot. Uh, he he makes me very confident to come to UFC. Following, if you defeat Jason Brills on Saturday, is there anybody you want in the light heavyweight division? What? If, if you had the power, like Joe Silva, to make a fight at 205 following Jason Brills, who would you want to fight? Yeah, I want, uh, they, they're going to choose. I don't know. But if you had the power, is there anybody you would choose in particular? I want to fight with uh, Forrest Griff again, if I have a chance. Now, can you tell us a prediction for your fight this Saturday? What? Uh, I'm going to follow for knockout and uh, if I have a chance, I want to follow to knockout for the first round. And in the next year, where are we going to see Little Nog? Where are we going to see Little Nog in the next year? One year from now, where will Little Nog be? Uh, 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 I pretend to be in a, in a top tier for the, my, my category. Antonio, greatly appreciate it. Good luck on Saturday. Thank you. Thank Antonio you very much. Antonio Rogerio Noguera, he battles Jason Brills at UFC 114 only on pay-per-view from the MGM Grand Garden Arena here in Las Vegas.